In 4.0, we decided to make the entire platform a bit more secure. Um, and the way that we did that um, was to enact uh, secure communications between all kind of platform components. So just a refresher, if you look at the system architecture for NX Witness, stretch that sucker out. Then you can see that we have the different components. You got desktop, you got uh, mobile, you got server, you got cloud. All these different components are connected either over secure networks or over public networks. Um, when you are using uh, HTTP communication, you're basically communicating uh, in the clear. Um, you can, people can act like a man in the middle and intercept that in the communication if they understand how the communication works. Maybe they can decipher that communication, right? Or intercept that communication. Um, with secure connections, we're using SSL um, and HTTPS uh, which are secure encrypted communications, 256-bit encryption, same as what you use at your bank um, when you communicate with your bank online. Um, and what that does is it prevents uh, man-in-the-middle attacks or if someone is to intercept the system traffic somehow, uh, they wouldn't be able to really decipher it um, because it's encrypted with 256-bit encryption. Um, and it's really simple to activate in the system. You go to System Administration and you see here, Allow Only Secure Connections. And when you click that, from now on, all communication taking place between system components, uh, whether it's the desktop client and the server, or the mobile and the server, or the web environment, uh, web client and the server, um, all those, uh, the system forces a secure connection using that 256-bit encryption. And it's just that simple. So, encrypted communications, a new feature in 4.0.